Hey guys, welcome back. Today I'm coming to you a little earlier than um, when I'm intending on recording, but we gotta do some decals for this manicure. So my nails won't be like this next time that I see you. Um, but like I said, we've got some decals to make. So before we make those, if you will, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and ring the bell so you never miss an upload. Um, the colors that I'm using today are uh, China Glaze Purple Tonium and a china glaze she's so extraterrestrial these are from the um egg oh it's hard for me to say the x oh i'll put it on the screen it's from one of their recent collections from um, halloween last year i believe and then i've got um energy source uh, from la colors and this is just a runny white and it just works really well with what i needed to do Alright, so if it will focus, what I'm going to do is, this is, um, this is called a drip marble. Um, if you remember last week, in my video from last week, I showed you a little sneak peek of it. Um, and this is what that sneak peek was. Usually if you, um, let them sit for too long. They'll be really brittle, but this one's actually still pretty flexible. Um, I guess we just keep it at the good temperature in our house that it's fine. Um, but yeah, this was the sneak peek. They're not all going to turn out like this. The ones that I do when I'm tasting are probably going to be better than the ones that we come up with today, but we are going to try. Um, but yeah, this is one of, uh, one of the ways you can marble without having to use water. I'm working my way up to using water because I haven't done that in so long. It is the next day, and this is the test that I showed you yesterday, and I went ahead and peeled one of these off just to make sure that it was going to be okay, and as you can see, it is um, very flexible, so um, it's been a little over 24 hours, I believe, that these have been drying, and I'm going to peel up a couple for you just to show you how I do it. 
Um, but as you can see, if you have a lid with like raised lettering or whatever on it, you want to be sure that it, you don't use this part of it because that will show up um, on the nail. So what I'm going to do is I just take my toothpick or whatever you have. You can use a cuticle pusher if you want. But you need to make sure that you know, you see all these irregular edges are up. Because like, like as you just saw, it's very easy to rip. So you need to make sure that all of your irregular edges come up easily. Here's another one. Just so that you um, don't rip a part of the, the design that you like or rip it in half to where it's unusable. And there's one that it doesn't really want to. Some of the edges got a little bit too dry and they're a little brittle. Um, once you get up enough to where you can grab, you can use tweezers if you like. Um, I prefer to use my fingers. I, I can feel um, how much pressure I'm using and this one's being one it's not really coming up as well it was a little thicker than the other ones Once you have, okay, once you've kind of looked at the design and seen um, which ones you like, you can go ahead and cut sections for each nail. Um, you want to make sure that they're big enough for your nails. And um, I'm just going to show you real quick that I'm just using, um, I think they're supposed to be cuticle scissors. I don't ever use them on my cuticles. But I'm just cutting. The decals very gently everything you do with these is very gently and you just put those to the side um, these are the ones that I'm going to be doing on today's video these other ones will be for my other hand um, so I'm just going to set these to the side at the moment if you want to see the other um, designs that go on to my other nails be sure to follow me on Instagram at no worries nail art because that's where you will see those all right so before we can apply those we've got to do our base coat and I'm using Peely base or Hala taco which is a peel off base and you can use whichever you prefer I'm going to be working this uh, one hand at a time. Um, I'm going to be using this sticky base coat from Pro FX. Um, it's just what I usually use, so if it's not broke, don't fix it, right? So I'm just going to, you can tell I haven't used this in a long time. Um, I'm going to just use a little bit of this to um, apply my decals or whatever you want to call them um, just so the nail is sticky. I didn't want to put them directly on my base coat. I wanted it to dry and then do what it's supposed to do. Well, like I said, I'm doing this one nail at, or one hand at a time um, just to be sure that everything is, uh, I'm not using the tweezers, just to be sure that everything is um, dry and ready to go. So you're just going to, as always, gently, if you want, you can, if you've got a straight edge, you can line that straight edge up with the side of, oh, I'm not even on camera, I'm sorry, you line this straight edge up with the side of your nail, that usually makes it clean up a little bit easier. And just kind of scoot that around 
and then press. This is why you need them to be very flexible because you're you are manhandling them a lot. So I'm gonna get that all pressed down, and we're gonna let that base coat dry a little bit before we go to trimming any of the excess off. Yeah, we're just going to continue that for all the nails. And once you've got all of them applied, what you're going to do is, uh, what I like to do is just turn my hand over. Take my little cuticle scissors and just kind of go around as best I can. Just to get a lot of this excess off. Being very careful, trying not to cut myself. And for this next part, I've just got um, a small dotting tool that I'm going to dip in nail polish remover to get around these edges just to kind of clean that up a little bit. And then for the tips of the nails, I've got a, um, a file. Just going to like kind of gently bend it and kind of file it off. Sometimes that works and sometimes it doesn't. Um, it just depends on um, how the um, decal is.
And once you get most of it cleaned up, you just take, just taking my cleanup brush and I'm going around the edges, getting rid of any of the corners or um, anything that is uh, kind of shaped weird, and just kind of melding the polish to the polish underneath, just so it stays better. And around some of the tips, you may have to um, like kind of get the rest of the excess off with your cleanup brush dipped in acetone. And there is the design. Um, like I said, if you want to see how my other hand turns out, um, follow me on Instagram at no worries, no heart. Um, but I'm in love with how these turned out. I don't even know if you can fully see. As you can see, I got a little carried away. It ripped her own way here. Um, but it's fun. Um, I still love it. And uh, I just love the way this turned out. Um, but if you will hit that subscribe button and ring the bell so you never miss a video I upload on Wednesdays at 12 noon central time and I hope to see you back next week bye guys